Hey folks, I've been cleaning up a bunch of old tools that uh, used to belong to my father before he passed away in 1997. Um, some of the tools are almost as old as me, I guess. This is I've been using vinegar and then uh, leaving them in there for 24 to 48 hours. Then they come out and they go into a bit of um, bicarb of soda. Then they get steel walled. Then they get washed off. Then they get a uh, quick spray of um, uh, this degreaser at the moment. So they get a quick spray of that. And then they get a quick spray of this stuff, which is basically a WD-40, cheap version. And um, they come out fairly good. So I'll give you a quick squeeze through these. These are, um, I would suggest that that I'll see chrome AF there. That's a, um, what is it? A 5 8 11 16 AF. That may well be older than me. Um, Dad did his apprenticeship when I was, was doing his apprenticeship, I think, when I was born. Um, he hung on to a lot of his tools. After he passed away, um, a lot of them got sold, uh, the more high end stuff. And I, grabbed his old toolbox um, that he'd used when he um, when he was working at Rec Air Hire and he worked in the mines out of Blackwater for a while. And so he had a whole collection of tools. I, um, I also had a 32-piece Sid Chrome um, three-quarter inch drive socket set that someone decided they wanted more than me. Um, it disappeared. A whole bunch of these tools have disappeared over the years. People have gone, here. Yeah, can I borrow a tool? Yeah, no worries. And you know the story. But we've got Geodor, which is a German, I believe, German company. Um, yep. Yeah. So we've got the big Geodors. He, um, he worked on heavy machinery. He had his own drill truck at one point. So he had a lot of big big stuff like this, like uh, 30 mil seed chrome, 36 mil seed chrome, Australian made one. Seed uh, chrome doesn't make their tools in Australia anymore. That, they're long gone. They got sold. Uh, Star Wheelie, I think, or Star Wheel. Um, they're another German high-end spanner. We've got uh, more seed chromes, old seed chromes. This is a uh, an AF uh, 15 16th and uh, one inch open end. Um, there's this old BSW measurement, which is, I don't know, you you mechanical type people know all about that, but that's, um, yeah, we've got three eighths and five sixteenths, I think, yeah. BSW, um, I think it's Whitworth or something, isn't it? Um, Another one, there's some fullers, another old three-quarter inch seed crane, three-quarter inch, and um, oh, what was the other side of this one, uh, 25, 32nd AF, so that's another older one that he's probably had forever, that's a newer one. When um, in the 80s, when he was managing Rec Air, uh, he started engraving all these tools, so he would put his initials, like, uh, put his initials NG on it, or he would write his whole name. This is on a Sid Chrome socket. I'm going to send this to my little sister. I think she'll appreciate that, and a couple of others. But yeah, he um, got the engraver out one day and went mad because he kept losing his tools, and um, engraved a whole bunch of them. So there's all them. Yeah, there's not much left. Lost so many tools, so many tools. I'll um, yeah. So I'll just keep cleaning them up. They'll go into. I'll show you his old toolbox. Hang on. So this is the old toolbox. Um, as you can see, unfortunately, it was sitting here for ages, and when it rains heavy, it leaks there, and goes straight down into here. That, there's a few old bits and pieces there. Um, there was, in the mining industry, there was a mad sticker collecting thing going on, and 
um, dad was never into it, but people were giving stickers all the time. And after he passed away, he had this folder just shot full of stickers, mining stickers, you know, these, these sort of things. And they, it was a mad, mad thing in the mines. It was like, it was, I don't know whether it still goes on, but people were willing to pay money for hard to get stickers. And some of these, like this one here, the, the some Elminco ones, which was one of the companies that he worked for. Um, there's Allied Plant Hire, which is another part of the Elminco company. IWS, there's Castrol stickers, there's just all this stuff that I had on here, like this this sort of stuff. Um, and it was, yeah, apparently it was a mad thing. So I stuck all those over this thing. I had this toolbox forever. It's been it's been from from Rockhampton down to down to Brizzy, um, out to King Roy. It's gone up in lived up in far north Queensland. It's well and truly beyond its use by date now. And, um, yeah, and quite a few tools, I guess, went missing as people borrowed them. But anyway, that's the old toolbox, and I'll show you the one that I'm going to put it all into, which we found at the um, dump one day. So this will be the new toolbox that will go on the back of the ute. Um, it's got a bit of damage. It's obviously had a hit, so I've got to realign a few things and, and sort all that out. But, hey, it's free. Got my little baby welder. Just in case I need to use a little baby welder for something. Wood chips for me smoker. But yeah, it's it's a pretty good setup. Whoops. Shit falling down everywhere. But that yeah, it slides down. So that closes down. Uh, haven't got a key for it, but I might just get another barrel and, and put in there. Um, so I've got all this sort of stuff that will slide in and out. And, It'll do me. I can put tools in here, down the bottom here when it's unlocked, of course. There we go. Now, because it locks when you close the lid. So it's got all this stuff, all these trays everywhere. They all work. And it's a flash snap on one, but it's had a, yeah, it's had a big ding down the back corner here. So I've got to straighten all that up. But that'll work for me tools. In on the back of the car, um, I've also got a bunch of uh, a whole mess of stuff. Anyway, I've got um, it's another tool pro kit that I bought because I didn't have tools and I need tools. Got all this stuff. Got all just junk everywhere. Junk everywhere. There's all these big giant Allen keys and stuff that I've had over the years of Dad. So I've cleaned up a whole bunch of them. Um, yeah. Got my chainsaw hiding way over there, underneath that old barbecue. So much stuff I've got to sort out. But anyway, that's um, that's what I've been up to the past couple of days. Uh, the ute's going. I'll have video. Bazinga Flash. I'll have video of the ute going up at some point. I did make a video, so I'll um, show you. As you can see, it's been turned around now. But yeah, I just thought you might be interested in them, so... Old sturdy. I can get it to focus. There we go. Sturdy. Um, there's an old mini max here. Yeah, another Sid Chrome. Uh, Starville. Uh, there's a Fuller here. Um, another Sid Chrome. These are the. Hang on. Let me see if I can focus. These ones are like that. They're um. They're, they're really great if you if you um if you've got the room for them, but they're not real good if you haven't. But they're good for, I mean, old school motors and stuff like that. They would have been perfect. Nowadays you can't fit a um. Anyway, I'm rambling. Engines nowadays are too hard to work on. There's some more Allen keys and old sockets and bits and pieces, and there's some other stuff that I've bought, and there's other stuff that's that dad had had that he'd bought later on in life and you know this sort of thing is one of the last of the the um half inch drive kit that i had of them the sockets and there's not too many of them left either most of them are three eights but anyway i'm rambling on enjoy back to the rest of your day